I found it. Hi. Today I have a, a Ryobi saw. It's not working. I already tested a little bit. When you put the battery, the laser is working, so it's a power. But it's not doing anything on a switch. I already measured it on the motor and if you push the button you have a 20 volts from the battery so the motor is bad I have already have another one from another Ryobi 2 I know one thing the mo it's easy to take the motor is it not easy to take the tip what is on the motor it can be a little bit tough to take get it out but basically you turn down the whole thing to take the motor so we're gonna do that. I'm just taking loose part to don't lose it and now it's a tricky part start i just hoping when i remove this four screws phillips screws it's gonna go out I just put the motor on a vise. I use this for uh, taking the middle part up. Put it in a vise how much you can. I need to use a small tool to take this piece of shit out. That's it. Now it's flying somewhere and we need to find it in the trash. I found it. Now what we need to do is just put it this part on a new motor. And for that we're gonna use a vise to squeeze it. Okay, I'm gonna test fit it. One is enough. Okay, we're gonna make a test fit. I tested. I think everything is fits perfect in this spot. I'm just gonna put a glue on the screws. Yeah, before I'm gonna put it back together, I'm gonna put some grease on it. Now we just need to solder the wires. Yeah, 
Now I need to figure out how this part was mounted there. I think it was like that. Okay, works. Okay, now it's a moment of proof if it's gonna work. <laughs> 